and we'll drop it probably next week. Next week, okay. So y'all just finished doing my filming with Mr. Kelly. How y'all doing? Yes, super. <laughs> y'all, I did not know I was an interviewer. Like, he literally caught me off guard, but you know, your girl always comes prepared, so you gotta stay ready so you don't gotta get ready. So, that you boy. felt like it was, I did I did a good interview? You did, you did great. You I did, did really, really well. Hire me and book me whenever you need your, your I interview. Gotcha. Yes, because I, gotcha. I can definitely hold it down. But yes, y'all, so, um, everything will be posted next week for y'all to check out. Can't but you'll have some reels, like, today okay oh well yeah he'll have some real today leading That's up to the actual release okay so i'm super excited about this okay so now your girl has to get out of here they're down they're filming a movie and they thought i was one of the actresses so i got to park for free yeah, now i got they're gonna, they're gonna definitely highlight you on the way out <laughs> now i need to skedaddle back over there like, um are you leaving sad already i'm like uh coffee break <laughs> hey, well, is over here oh really on that line when you park but you got the, you got the card out of this? Yeah, I got the card out of that. Uh, where is that? Uh, the adapter? Yeah. That side pocket that it Oh, this is so cute. I wish I could have like a little oh. thumbnail. I'm trying to see. You want me to shoot you? Take some pictures? Uh, yeah, take a picture. So I'm leaving. Literally straight back to Atlanta, straight back to the work. I haven't been able to stop since I got here, but it feels good. Feels good. Are they filming right here? I haven't seen y'all. Oh no, this is the way to go down. Okay. Y'all, let's see if I can make it back to my car. They took one look at me. Oh shoot, I almost slipped. They took one look at me. And they were like, oh, you're one of the actresses. Come over here and park over here. I was like, oh, I'm about to film, but not right here because I was about to film, but I was like, ooh. So they let me park for free. And I'm like, they about to catch my behind. They're going to be like, she leaving the set? What's she doing? Because as soon as I got the car and I started walking in the other direction, they were like, um, oh, where are you going? It's this way. And I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I got to go to the other the other side and it was like oh such and such and i was like yeah 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 i was like oh y'all it's so chilly i miss orlando weather already y'all the adventure we had to get there and the adventure we had to get home was ridiculous it made no mother freaking sense literally i don't know why the ooh, i don't know why the freak spirit tried to play with our lives like they did but never again never again i love flying delta i used to fly american and you can only catch me flying american then i found out about delta i took one good flight and i was like oh never again to american i haven't flown american in years so it's strictly delta then we were booking stuff for for orlando we've been booked our hotel and um we put the tickets in the cart for like the park and because we still hadn't finalized which day we were going to do what it's like i said jeremy jeremy's family lives down there so we were, he was trying to coordinate all that so anyways so we was like okay spirit got this little deal then they tried to charge you for the mother freaking oxygen on the plane because while the world was the flights cheap then they start trying to make you pay for like a, a carry-on, the luggage, like everything. So we get there, they rebooked us like I told y'all earlier. Then on the way back, they canceled the flight because they said it was a tornado warning. I was like, get, get me back to Atlanta. I don't want nothing to do with Spirit, give me my refund. I told them to refund me so quick. And then I called my bank, hello, hello. They got me out here messed up. Talking about they were gonna be able to send us back on Friday. I said, I gotta close some deals, honey. And I knew it, ooh. Y'all, they looking in the cars. I got my camera out, so maybe, does this look more legit to have my camera out? Look like I'm really doing something. Cause honey, I don't need nobody trying to take me out of the fact. Oh Lord. Let me see. This is the same guy from last time, so. Thank you. So, Anyways, y'all, that was my rough. Huh? 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is my rough experience with Spirit Airlines. <laughs> if y'all could have saw the look on my face when we went back from eating our food to going back and I go to the stand and I see Orlando on the screen. I mean, I saw Chicago O'Hare Airport on the screen. And I was like, hello, where's the Atlanta people? Did y'all put us at a different gate? And they're like, oh, that, that was canceled an hour ago. Never again. That's what we get for trying to be cheap. You gotta stick to the dang on. Cause I said, like, did I said, did they cancel Delta? I bet you they, they didn't cancel Delta. I said it's because probably y'all aircraft can't sustain the rain. Y'all can't even handle some measly rain. I don't even need to be on this type of plane. That was God trying to cover me. So we had to end up getting a rental car. Cause I refused to get on another Spirit Airline, even though we didn't get on it the first time. But I refused to even play crazy with Spirit Airlines. Y'all didn't tell me this. Did I even tell y'all book Spirit? And thought I was gonna come up for a deal because I thought we came up for a deal, y'all. I thought we came up for a deal. I gotta go put some gas in my car. Ow. Wow. I think your agent just didn't do what she was supposed to be doing. But a lot of people they don't care about rentals because there's really no. Did you say you was up on her first? sun is behind us I got my hair all tucked into my jacket I'm I actually got an attitude right now I need to get over myself because I don't like my nails at all and I'm pretty pissed off never had these issues when I was going to Iman if you guys don't know I stopped going to Iman only because my nails started receiving like y'all well I, I have really really sensitive nail beds so underneath the nail should I go in? I'm gonna go to Home Goods first. Let me just go to Home Goods real quick. I'm out here. I gotta close them tomorrow. I gotta go show a house tomorrow. I gotta clear the clothes from one of my other properties. One in a contract for another one. I got a lot going on with real estate. Well, um, I am getting the closing gift right now for my buy. I mean, for my sellers. But um, yeah. Let me show y'all my nails. Let me get out this freaking sun. Cause I'm just really over this really over this i just want to start going back to iman but i don't know how likely that will be because i don't want to get freaking oh lord i don't want to get skin cancer oh, that's really cute look at that i don't want to get something different like when people are buying the house i feel like it's easier to get like a closing gift but when they're selling their house, excuse me, it's because, you know, this is a divorce closing. So the wife is not repurchasing right now at this time. And the husband is repurchasing in a few months his new property. So it's kind of like there's nothing to get like house related because I don't really know what to say about that. So here we are just I'm gonna look around and figure it out. Oh, but let me show you my nails. Oh, this looks so freaking childish. This looks like my kids could have did this. So I'm just real upset because this is not what I wanted. But I don't like getting my nails done. That's another fun fact about me, or not so fun fact. I don't like getting my nails done. So it's so. Oh, look at these little things. This would be so cute for the girls. Look at these little things, y'all. I came here for my clients and look at me completely distracted but um i don't know what to get i've seen her oh look at these barbie towels i want to get this for the girls oh that would be so cute oh look at this what is this oh it's like a mini mouse oh this is so cute <gasps> All right, come on, come look. Huh? What is that? Oh, it's a jewelry, jewelry drawer. Come on, ladies, come look at your surprise. Look. 
got y'all Barbie towels. Barbie. Oh, oh Barbie towels. What's that say? Thank you, Mommy. What is this Mini Mouse thing. Yep, Mini Mouse thing. You could put a bank. No, not a bank. You could put stuff in there that you want to put in there. What? Oh, what open this one. It's just, um. Is all Disneyland stuff? Open it up. Put your jewelry in here. And like your earrings. We could put your earrings in there. Your necklace and stuff. Your necklace. Jewelry, we still gotta go get your necklace fixed, baby. Oh, give me a kissy. Mom, where I was jumping. Give me a kissy. Mom, where that was jumping. Give me a kissy, Jay. Fell off. I know, you, I don't remember what happened. And I was jumping. It fell off. I know. I know, baby. And you broke it. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Them hot, them legs need to be up off that ground, girl. Whip. Whip. No, you're not. That's recreational. It's to the front. Whip. To the front. One, two, three, four. Y'all need to keep that motion. I'm tired and I got work to do. Hey guys, it's closing day. This is my closing outfit. Pretty and pink, looking so cute. I actually have to go show a house this morning. So I'm literally about to skedaddle up out of here. Did not have time to eat breakfast, but I'm about to pack some food um, and to get these closing gifts together. I absolutely love this two piece set. I got it from Shein and I bought it a while ago. I bought several outfits. Y'all, why do I keep having the camera down? I bought several outfits for real estate um, closing purposes because your girl was already claiming it all 2024. I was going to be closing these deals. So yes, I already got my secure clothes, my first secure closing for the year. And I'm super, super. Okay guys, so I'm leaving touring a property um they look great so we're moving forward that was easy first house that was great so i'm super excited and now i'm on my way to my closing which is an hour away and i do need to stop and do something so hopefully oh y'all don't look like no traffic and it's just an hour away it's all the way out in snailville um the house is in snailville because i was gonna be like oh can we close somewhere else <laughs> but the house is out there in snailville so it makes the most sense but um off to a great day i was not able to warm up my food and bring it with me so i gotta make these sacrifices because i was like either warm my food or i'm late to my showing and i didn't want to be late to my showing so um gotta make sure you timely <sighs> great neighborhood and like i said overall i didn't even bring my camera or my purse inside the house i brought my phone and got like a little behind the scenes on my phone so yeah i probably saw it on my story this is what's today Tuesday, what's today oh today's friday um okay and we're off this way so yes i do need to stop at Publix to get some roses i got a vase um for my client one of my clients the female client and i'm gonna present her with some flowers and stuff and her gift and then i really also need to go to walmart so hopefully there's a walmart because i think they don't they got flowers but sometimes i don't be liking the way walmart flowers be looking or maybe that was just that on valentine's day because they were looking real dusty and crusty but i'm just so blessed i'm so grateful to god and we are on our way to being a top producer for the 2024 year and y'all i'm claiming it y'all hear it here first i told myself i just needed one year to get my feet wet with real estate and i was taking off and i meant that literally i meant that so 
if you want to help me on my way to being a top producer and you have any real estate needs please contact me as soon as possible your girl will help you handle you and make sure all the testimonies from my clients the mom she brought her mom and she was because they were actually a referral couple her and her husband her husband's at work and the mom was like um one of my first closing my actual first closing they go to church with her and she was like she spoke so highly about you when we were looking and praying for a great rule she was telling me how my clients spoke highly of me and you know they just her testimony made them feel compelled to you know move forward and reach out to me and you know it just means so much to me that what I say and what who I present myself to be as an agent and the promises that I make to my clients to be um, to be a great agent and give them the best process from start to finish especially first-time home buyers who are trusting you with every even I don't, at first I would say first-time home buyers but I'm currently working with someone who's bought I'm currently working with two people who've bought several homes and they've had to entrust them hey guys I did not even vlog at my closing y'all I had to do two separate closings if that makes sense because both the buyers came at different times I mean both the sellers came at different times and I had to get the closing gifts together the content together all of that I did not have an opportunity to get my videographer babe had offered at the last second but it was just way too late because I ended up having to go show the house as we saw earlier but anyways I came and got my lunchbox it's very sweet and now we say goodbye hold on let's say our goodbyes goodbye so this is my first listing and i definitely have to document this moment because i literally remember when i first got my real estate license and how much it meant to me to list a house like i just knew the agents who were listing properties were badass agents and like they were killing shit i was like i gotta be one of those i gotta be her and i'm just so grateful to god to be in this moment and to really absorb the energy and just Hum humbly understand how blessed I am like literally I remember the day I came and toured the home you guys were here with me I put a little clip in the um, vlog that day with me and the girls I'm gonna see if I can go back and find it don't hold me to it y'all already know but um, if y'all have been keeping up and watching then y'all already know exactly what I'm talking about and I came here and we literally got a little footage and we toured the entire home and had a beautiful basement and all of that and my clients did it, so they sold it. I'm super excited. I don't know why I just threw up the peace sign. Like, this is not a picture, girl. But um, all in all, I'm just super grateful. And I just, like, I had to document this for you guys. Because you guys have seen me over these last few years at some of my lowest moments of life. And I've shared and I've allowed you all to be a part of that journey. Seeing every obstacle, no matter how bad it looked, I still kept my um head high and just knew like there would be a time where god was gonna cover me and just say you know what walk with me come with me like allow me to protect you and lead you and yes y'all so i'm on my way home i was supposed to be going to go grab lunch with a key and she has not where did i put my phone y'all oh y'all this car is a mess speaking of cars Speaking of cars, so let me go ahead and put my address in the GPS. Speaking of cars, I am getting a new car. I was going to surprise you guys and just pop out with a new vehicle, but I need a little help because I've had this car for four years. I got it in 20, I got it. The girls were born in 2018. Yeah, I got it in 2019. So I got it in 2019. It's 2024. It's definitely time for your girl to get out. It was a really, really bad financial move for me to refinance this car because I love the car and I didn't, I'm not like a car person like that. I'm just always thinking about what's my next car that I want. So I didn't have another car that I wanted. I love my Q8 and that was just, you know, it had everything that I need. But it's time to say goodbye. We leased it, well, I leased it initially. And then when I refinanced it, we refinanced to buy. And I was literally almost done with my lease. I only had like a few more, like a, I can count on my fingers how many payments we had left. I keep saying we, but I can count on my hand how many payments I had left with the Q8 before we refinanced. So it was like I started over and then it just hit me like an epiphany. And me and babe were talking about it, especially now that we're about to buy our new home. Um, 
financially and like things that we need to do for the family and we do need to have a family car that is big enough that um, holds and accommodates more than three seats so I'm stuck I don't know any vehicle that accommodates a third row that will be mom friendly that is still looking good and I tried to go online babe was like so then I came across like I told you guys I wanted to get the X6 the X6 does not have the third row so what we decided was after we're done with the sale I mean not the sale once we're done with moving into our brand new home then we're going to revisit upgrading to a luxury car that's predominantly just for me and babe to do what we want to do and don't have to worry about like the kids and then we'll have a family car which i would drive for the most part you get what i'm saying but both cars are still ours if that makes sense y'all know how it works but um we want to have like i want to really upgrade i don't know if we're going to do the bmw x6 but we'll cross that bridge when it's time to get there we got to get to the house first but for now it is absolutely vital for me to switch my car out and get a different car um so i may not be in the audi family anymore because the only car that i do know has that third row is the the q7 and that's I feel, I feel like it's a downgrade but to be honest we're not really worried about if it's better than a q8 because we genuinely just need a car that still has features that we love but it's it makes sense for the entire family <laughs> but i told them about our car scandal about us getting a new car Yeah, the um, seven seater, and that's what it's called, seven three rower. Oh, this copyright. Okay, y'all. So we are okay. Hold on, cause this copyright just still going crazy. We're on our we're on our way to go get some stuff for dinner. We had to go handle some stuff earlier. I'm about to go buy myself the pocket camera that you got. Cause I don't know why I feel like this camera is huge. Like, and babe, why you just get that one little thing? That thing is not gonna get what we need to get. We gotta get juices. Well, I'm, I'm eating out tomorrow. I gotta treat myself so y'all. Y'all know, every time I close on the house, what, what does that mean for us? We're gonna go get a new fragrance. So. I may go to the mall tomorrow. Um, it's Ariel's 30th birthday, so I gotta get her a gift. So I may go to the mall early. Um, baby's gonna stay with the girls all day tomorrow. He said he gotta work all day filming and editing and stuff. But, um, so this month, Babe is doing, y'all know he did his fast last month, he finished. Now he's doing um, vegetables and fruits for an entire month. He said hold, hold what? What, this, um, this? What's that? What? These brown things, coconuts? No, um, this can't be coconuts. No, um, oh, I've never heard of that in my life. You want to try to pick it? No, we can go look it up. But this will be the perfect time for you to be trying all the stuff you never tried before. You know what? You know you never made eggplant parmesan. Mm, you can try that. My mom used to make that for me all the time. Like eggplant, it's like, yeah, it's like a, she'd make it like a lasagna kind. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. You can try to make that one day next week. I just want it to be summertime already. I gotta get back in the gym. I didn't make it to the gym two weeks in a row. They already been sent me a dang old message, y'all. So I gotta go back there Tuesday. And um, what else? I haven't made it to Pilates. So that was a waste of money for Pilates. Cause you know, you prepay for the whole entire month. So I pay for eight classes a month. If you don't make it and you miss it, then it's a done deal, it's a wrap. So I missed two weeks in a row. Because one week I was out of town and then one week I was preparing to go out of town, <laughs> so it was just a lot. Whew. So, oh, it's cold, y'all. I just want to be in my bed. I want to go home. Let me tell y'all what I want to do. 
because my best friend, she was like, girl, what you gonna feel to celebrate your closing? I said, let me tell you what I'm about to do. I'm gonna go home, and then we got the call that we had to go. Remember, if y'all watch the vlogs, y'all know we are in the process of getting a home. Tell me why the agent called us in a, with a freaking emergency situation already ensuing. So we had to go to the property to go look into some stuff and we're waiting for the builder to confirm because if they can't confirm what we need them to confirm, we won't be moving forward with that particular because we want, you know, with new construction, there's new, there's two different ways to do new construction. It's new construction home where the builder builds the home with, and you can pretty much sometimes select cabinet colors and certain finishes, that's a burden of new construction. And new construction ground up where you customize everything in its entirety is something completely different. We were going to new construction and we customize everything in its entirety. So come to find out, hey, how are you? So we found out that the builder is gonna be done with the home quicker than we anticipated. And they had already ordered some things because they didn't think that we were gonna be coming in. But like I said, we already had a pre-designed layout that we wanted to go with. And they tried to go and see if they can edit the permit that was in place and they couldn't. But there is other land that is available because the land that we initially looked at is not even built co correct. That's why we thought that's initially what our house was gonna be. So when they gave us the quote for when it would be done, we weren't on the same page. They were quoting us for the one that was halfway, well, that's, that has pretty much the structure up. We were basing it off of the dirt. So when they told us, months, I was like, oh, okay, we good to go. So we had to go rush over there, look at the house, walk both properties, the structures to see if it even was comparable to what we wanted. And then now they're questioning the builder to see if they can get the permits to change the design internally. It's a lot, y'all. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. But we're going to focus on positive and we're not stressing ourselves out with this process. Every time something like even pops up, I'm just going to tell myself I'm not stressing myself out. out, out. I can't talk. I'm not going to stress myself out with my with this process. What you got to eat, babe? Thank you. We're going to have... Uh... Well, it just surprised me. Right. Now we just need to get. We, well, mom. Uh, butter. Butter, okay. Yeah, um, we should have got a boogie. Yes. But we still need butter. Woo! You scared me. I didn't know what you was doing. Y'all, I mean, like they just made this right dinner. Now. It no, is busting. So freaking good. It's so good that I'm saying busting. I've never said that before in my life. But that's exactly what this is. So, yeah, doing eating my food, watching Secret Life of the American Teenager. It's okay, show. Just okay. Um, and doing credit repair. <laughs> the work never ends. I'm the girls over there. Oh, yeah, and I'm calling for trade lines because we have trade lines a part of my credit repair business and I had to add some people to some trade lines. So multitasking at its finest, but I probably won't see y'all till tomorrow to be honest for Ariel's birthday. Um, so I'll see y'all later. Okay guys, so I literally just made it to Ariel's birthday dinner. Let's make our way. I didn't even show y'all my outfit of the day. But y'all, I'm dressed like I'm going to somebody's prom. <laughs> Hold on, let me find the group. Uh, okay, this is up here. I don't see the hostess. Hold on, let's see. So make our way up the stairs. Maybe I should go in right like here. No, let me just wait. Excuse me. I'm looking for a party for Ariel. Sorry? Ariel, the party for Ariel. Yeah, it's right around the corner. Just right go around, around the corner. Okay, thank you. Hi, Tori. 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 Hi, Tori.
That was so much traffic. That's what everybody I was, like, was saying. Oh, I don't know if it was an accident. It took me literally the back street the whole way. It's different. It tastes like some, whatever this is, that's what I believe it tastes like. What is that flavor? If he tells me what it is, I'll be able to say that's what it is. But I have Everybody want to be like, hey, India. I have no idea what drink I got. I know, everybody's wearing black. Yeah. Hey girl, here we go. <laughs>